Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music and I also film these weekly solo trip videos. And we are talking about all things spiritual and metaphysics and esoteric and all of that stuff. So for this video, I wanted to jump back into the seven Essene mirrors. I've already done think four videos on it or five videos on it and now we're on to the next one that is seven so I'm going to be covering all topics but for this one I feel like I could talk about this specific mirror for ten freaking million thousand bajillion years because it is I feel like this is the key one this is the one that just sets the tone for your whole experience you know like it is the foundation and so this one states that you attract things based upon your relationship with your parents and I have said in many videos before that your parents are the first physical manifestation of the masculine energy and the feminine energy that we all have within us like we have both we have both the masculine and the feminine no matter which gender or whatever gender you are you have both within you and our parents are the physical manifestation of those energies that reside within us so they literally shape the foundation for your experience they are the ones that essentially program you into like falling asleep they're the ones that because you come from the astral realm you come from spirit realm and you incarnate through a vessel like you literally come through the womb of the mother and you come into this physical reality and then so like you're really connected to consciousness you're really connected to the all to source to god whatever you want to call it you're really connected to that when you first come through right and then as you become a toddler and you get older and your parents start to tell you not to do certain things and to behave and to sit down and be quiet and then you go into the school system and the nursery system and preschool system and then they tell you to like put your hand up when you want to speak and do this do that like all of this conditioning is then piled upon us as children at such a young age and your parents depending on like their upbringing and their programming and their circumstances and conditioning they are going to shape you based on whatever they feel is the best way and so that means that you then take on all of these beliefs all of these ideas and concepts that they've passed on to you so this isn't about whether it's good or bad this is just saying that this is what it is and this is how like certain beliefs are taught then like you're not born with them like racism for instance that's a learned behavior that's taught by the parents or whoever raises the child or their environmental circumstances and whoever is around them growing up you know it's a learned behavior so it just shows that like how you're raised your childhood your circumstances whereabouts you lived like your environment the neighborhood surrounding it all of these things play a huge huge part in your belief system and then how you then become an adult and the beliefs that you carry into adulthood so then how you interact with other people as i've said in a video before this whole world is based upon relationships you know so how you're raised and the beliefs that you then take on in those early years will then affect how you carry yourself and how you interact with other people so your relationships going into adulthood especially teenagers then into adulthood so literally this one is like the foundation and the key and this also is to do with a mirror so it's talking about how your circumstances and the other connections that you have the relationships with other people that you have how they are a reflection of your relationship that you have with your parents and as I've also said before I feel like there are a million examples I could give and a million ways that people can reflect your parents like the dynamic that you have there's so many ways for this to be possible and for this to happen so I'm just going to use like a few examples but say for instance you are raised in a single parent household that dynamic instantly affects the child because 
it's out of balance. You only have the feminine energy present and the masculine is gone. So that instantly affects the the dynamic, but also like the belief system and the way that the child develops mentally and emotionally and all of that stuff. And this isn't about whether it's good or bad. I'm just saying that it does affect it in some way. So then say like the mum is um maybe the mum is very like um what's the word like very into that feminine energy to the point where they don't set boundaries they don't um they don't express their needs like maybe they're very submissive you know so then you could witness them getting into a lot of relationships where the the partner that they meet is very dominating and very overly hyperly hyperly that's not a word hyper masculine because they're looking for that balance you know like the mother is looking for that balance within her own self so if you witness that you witness that dynamic then you can start getting into situations where you either take on the traits of the mother or you could take on the domineering traits of the partner that you witness you know like it affects us in so many ways it's really hard for me to like narrow it down but like you could then encounter situations where you're very submissive you don't know how to express boundaries you don't know how to express your needs because that's the um situation that you've witnessed and the kind of dynamic that you've had with your mother where you haven't been taught that because she doesn't know how to do that or where you've witnessed her do that that you now feel like that's just how it's done and that's the way that it's supposed to be so now you carry yourself in that same way you know or you could go the complete opposite way where you witness her being so submissive and you don't like it and it makes you angry so now you become the dominating type of energy and you become hyper masculine and then when you get in connections with other people you start to be very dominating and controlling and making sure that that person doesn't express boundaries because you feel like that's the right thing to do and that's normal because that's what you've witnessed you know so there are so many ways that this can play out in your life but I really think that like this is one of the key ones that we should be looking at within ourselves and our own circumstances looking at um like the beliefs that our parents held the things that they told us were right and wrong the way that they treated us the way that they treated each other the way that they interacted with other people like friends and other family members like really analyzing the dynamics that happened even the dynamics of them with their parents as well like your grandparents just looking at all of it and maybe you weren't even raised by biological parents maybe you were raised by an aunt or a grandma or somebody but even still that's still the feminine aspect in your life you know so it still works and it still counts so you should just really look at the dynamic of whoever it is that raised you and the beliefs that they held the way they treated you the way your dynamic was with them and their dynamic with everybody else and really pay attention to it and then look at the situation that you're in and be like okay the person I'm with right now is really aggressive and really rude and really spiteful. Did this happen in my childhood? Did I experience this at any point in my childhood with anyone, not necessarily just your parents, but with anyone? Did this happen before? Have I experienced somebody being this rude and aggressive? Or have I been this rude and aggressive? You know, like you're going through all of these mirrors of is it a reflection of me? Is it a reflection of somebody that I judge? Is it something that my parents did? Is it something that somebody around me did, you know? And you're you're going through those mirrors and you're looking at the dynamics. And obviously this takes a lot of time, a lot of self-awareness and a lot of being honest with yourself because oftentimes we don't even want to admit that certain things happened or that we've been a certain way, you know? So it does take a lot of self-awareness, a lot of reflection, a lot of alone time, just sitting by yourself doing this in the evening or in the morning or whenever you have time and just being honest with yourself and trying to like uncover it you know and face it because once you become aware of that then like so say that circumstance did happen and you become aware of the fact that you 
experience something with a parent that you're now experiencing in a present relationship and it doesn't have to be romantic it could be a friendship it could be a boss it could be a co-worker but once you realize that it's a pattern now you can start to understand why you tolerate it why it's there why it why you've accepted it why it's come into your world like why you've been drawn to that person you know you can start to understand your mindset behind it and why it's even happening and that's not to punish yourself or beat yourself up for it happening and it's not to blame yourself for it happening it's not to blame your parents it's not to blame anyone it's just to see what it is it's to acknowledge it it's to know where it comes from to know what it is so that you can then take control of that and change it you know because you have to see it and acknowledge it in order to change it so it's just I don't know that's just what I've realized and what I've learned in myself and believe me I've been doing this myself with my own relationships and stuff and really trying to uncover because I did get in an abusive relationship before and I had to really oh my god I had to really like face the situation face that person face myself face my upbringing face like all of the different things that I went through as a child I had to face all of it in order to understand why it's here and then be able to leave and be able to let that go and get out of that horrible situation you know and it does take a lot so it's not punishing yourself it's just really understanding the mirrors what's happening why it's reflecting you and you'll tend to find that you repeat cycles so something could have happened when you were very young and then it keeps repeating as you get older and so it's happening now and you're looking at it now and you're like why the hell would I even get in this like for me like why the hell would I even get in an abusive relationship like that doesn't make any sense like this has come out of nowhere and then you look back when you actually look back you realize exactly why this would ever be something that could possibly happen because you realize where you've been and how throughout the years certain patterns have happened and certain belief systems have happened and have stuck with you and so now you're here in this situation and it didn't come out of nowhere it's been building to this it's been leading to this for a reason you know but it's only when you look backwards that you can see how it got there you know I also have a video on how to heal your relationship with your parents that was requested by um, somebody on Instagram I think last year I filmed it. It was a requested video, so I will link that down below as well in case you want to check that out because I do dive a little bit deeper into like the dynamics of um a relationship with a parent and how to like mend that and heal it. So I will link that down below if you want to check that one out. I hope this video was helpful and definitely check out the other scene mirrors and I am going to finish the series because honestly, it will transform your life when you look and you realize which aspect is being reflected here so that you can make better choices and you can let go of toxic people. It is a game changer. So thank you so much for listening and watching. All links to my music will be in the description box below as well as my merch company, my social media and my phone number. If you want to text me, you can text me or WhatsApp me. I am always love to chat to you and just like, it's kind of building a friendship, you know, because this journey does get very fucking isolating <laughs> so yes thank you for listening and watching and don't forget to like and subscribe on youtube if you haven't already and i will see you in the next episode bye oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah i think you might i'm the thing you like in my range all white Think he might, I'm the thing he like, pick my range, oh why?